Why do so many objectivists typically refrain from identifying themselves as libertarians? Because I would think a bigger tent for objectivists um, would help, right? Uh, not to not to use the language of the left, but a more inclusive um, uh, language uh, from objectivists might might help the cause. Um, but if we believe if we believe that the cause is philosophical, not political, that ultimately the cause is convincing people about the morality of self-interest and the cause is convincing people of epistemology of reason, then a big tent doesn't help because it, it, it kind of blurs those distinctions and it doesn't make clear what it is we actually stand for. So Ayn Rand was very clear. She stood for capitalism because she stood for egoism. She stood for egoism because she stood for reason. For her, her epistemology and her ethics are the core of her philosophy. The politics is just a logical outcome of all of that. Um, the problem with libertarianism as an ism is that it is a big tent and it's a big tent with some people who were sympathetic, maybe, right? That, that tr it's true that politically and from a political economy perspective, we agree and they might even sometimes flirt with some of our philosophical ideas. So we have some allies within this big tent, but we also have some real enemies. I mean, real enemies, not marginal enemies. Uh, we have Kantians, Ayn Rand called Kant the most evil person in history because of how she viewed his philosophy and how destructive she believed his philosophy was to the 20th century. And destruct so if, if, you're, if you're agreeing, yeah, we agree in free markets, but you guys s pretend to come to free markets from the, the perspective of the, the most evil philosophy in human history, according to Ayn Rand, we're not allies, right? We're not allies philosophically. Or you have anarchists who are, for the most part, moral subjectivists and philosophical subjectivists and relativists, well, that, again, we consider philosophically incredibly harmful and destructive for the cause of reason. So how can we be in the same tent with them when their fundamental ideas are so destructive to what we're trying to do? So if you believe, as I do, as Ayn Rand certainly did, that the only way to truly get to free markets, the only way to win the political battle is to win a deeper philosophical battle, then we have no, then there is no tent, right? Then in some ways, we have tents with other people, right? So I, 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 you know, there's, I respect people who are advocates for reason, even if they happen to fall politically on the left, because I think that ultimately, if they're consistent advocates of reason, then free markets is obvious. I don't, it doesn't work the other way around necessarily. It doesn't seem to work the other way around. So I am very, hesitant to have a tent with anybody uh if i have a tent it's a short-term tent that's very um, objectivist of you that's very ayn randian of you yeah i mean because if you take ideas seriously i don't think it's ayn randian as much as it is taking ideas seriously i i'm willing to sit down with steven pinker and talk about the enlightenment and talk about reason and the importance of reason i don't think he understands reason right and <laughs> I, i'd like to talk to him about that or i'd like somebody to talk to him about that and see if we can fix that because i think it, it it's destructive I, I, I like to talk to, I don't know, Dave Rubin or, or even Sam Harris yeah. about free speech and about certain issues in philosophy. I like to talk to um, George Selgin and Larry White and uh, Pete Betke, who are libertarian economists about economics and about and, and some of them I can go deeper with and they'll mm -hmm. accept some of the deeper stuff. But but then they go to, you know, some of them might go to anarchy or some of them might go to more subjectivism. So for, for on every issue, I think it's important for us to clearly define what we agree on and what we disagree on and when you do that i, I think there are a few tents I, I think even libertarians who are not objectivists have a problem with with big tents i mean i, I don't want to speak to everybody but there's some economists i know who are libertarians technically who don't like the term because they don't want to be associated with some crazy you know, uh, anarchists, uh, you know, who, who call themselves socialist anarchists or whatever, who are part of this libertarian tent, they don't want that association. And they just say, look, we're just free market economists. We're just good economists. And that's what we do. And we don't we don't need these labels and these big tents. So I don't think it's uniquely objectivist. I, I really do think the tent idea is is problematic for anybody who takes their own ideas seriously.